Ah, with John Anderson, I'm Carl Ravitch. 90 good, fun minutes coming up here on Sports Center. The NBA dominated Sunday. Michael Jordan's not even in the postseason. He's back in the news as he's going back to his home of Carolina. Plus, the NBA's most valuable player gets set to take on the NBA's most popular players. We'll preview the semis in a bit. But first, we have to get that far. A couple of Game 7s. Mavericks are on the for the fourth time, which is a nice way of saying the Mavs are desperately trying not to be the first team to collapse from a 3-0 deficit. Don Nelson, 1-4 all-time in Game 7s. In major sports history, 231 teams have trailed 3-love. Only two have come back to win the series, but both in the NHL. They wear skates, not sneakers. Nelly, not worried a bit. If they beat us tonight, then we set the record. It will be the trivia question, uh, but it's never happened before, and, it's, and, and the reason is it's hard to beat somebody four times. Trivia question here, what was on the Mavs blackboard before the game? It's not about X's and O's. This is a heart and gut check. It's about Will. Will who? It's about Dale Davis sitting on the bench. Can't go. Sore groin. Vita Sabonis in his place. And Sabonis, a little love for the Lithuanians. Got it there. Nice pass. Still in the first, Damon Stoudemire is going to feed the big fella. Oh, how do you lose a guy that big low on the baseline? He had 16 points in the game. Dallas countering off the bench with Nick Van Axel. Second quarter, Mavs down five, and here comes Tricky Nick. Wide open for three. Run at him a little late. That's good for three already. Still in the second, Van Axel driving through the lane. Slices, got it. Tied at the half, 45. Also, the series was even through six and a half games. Eduardo Nahara stripping Sabonis. That's not pretty. Michael Finley, 14 for Finns. Count up three on this one. One, two, three. Johnson. Still in the third. The Blazers down 63-60. Bonzi Wells alley oop to Rasheed Walls for the two-hand jam. Walls had 17. Look at this again. Just kind of a loving glance between buddies. He knew he was in there and then thrown down with two hands. Third quarter. 71 all. Stoudemire. Going to hit that one, 17 points, one of six Blazers in double figures. They led by two after three, so we go to the fourth. Deciding quarter of the seventh and deciding game. Good defense there by the home team. Van Exel decides to finish off the break all by his lone. So that's for three. He was 10 of 15 from the field at 26. Still in the fourth, Dirk Nowitzki, four points in game six. Going to get three on that play alone. And then with the Blazers down one, Wallace hits the three to put Portland up two. Just terrific back and forth basketball. Nowitzki tied at 93, gives his team the lead by a deuce. Same score, Nowitzki. No rebounds in game six. He'd have 11 in this one. And this showing, that's Will right there, showing his will. Buck 30 left, Dallas up three. Nowitzki for the huge three. He had 31. The Mavs left at that point, 194. Van Exel likes Dirk's performance. Thompson's right now. The sky high. And, you know, in the fourth quarter, his eyes just light up. And to, today, it was unbelievable that uh, the shooting that he put on because we needed it and, and we came through. Dirk had 31 as Dallas survives. Give an assist to Portland's Ruben Patterson, who said of Dallas after game six, I think they're a little scared. Thank goodness that we had this one at home and we uh, rose to the occasion. And uh, Ruben Patterson is dumber than a rock. Because we put what he said on the board, which helped us, I thought, uh, saying that he sees fear in our eyes. Up 3-0, lose three in a row, backs against the wall, and, and just, it's, it's an embarrassing feeling. And couldn't wait to, to get to the gym today to, to get all that over with and get back out on the court. And luckily, you know, we got the win today.